Lasers uh, are the optical communication of the future. LaserCom demonstration is going to be a two-year flight. The hardware is, is made up of avionics boxes that can transmit the data up to optical telescopes that are going to be located on a geosynchronous satellite. The optical telescopes can receive and transmit the data uh, to not only ground stations, but to other geosynchronous satellites, low Earth orbit satellites, space station, or in the future, deep space uh, communication missions to Mars. In the fall of 2013, uh, NASA launched a satellite to the moon called LADEE. On that satellite had a single terminal for a demonstration, only going to be, was supposed to be for only six hours, to demonstrate that it could receive and then transmit back a high rate data. Uh, and when we talk about high rate data, we're talking about an order of magnitude higher than an RF system can do right now. So uh, that, that particular program was very successful. It actually operated for 25 hours before the whole thing on purpose was crashed into the moon. So LCRD, Laser uh, Communications Relay Demonstration, is a follow-up program that will have a high-rate data transfer uh, system on a geosynchronous satellite uh, scheduled for two years on, on orbit but could live as long as five years and be used. The benefits of laser and or optical communication is the fact that you can transmit data much, much faster than you can transmit data using an RF frequency device. It'll also carry a lot more data. In both cases, the benefit to NASA is that we can, we can get information out to deep space missions faster and we can also carry more data at the same time. Whether it's a manned mission or a probe, uh, and get that information back. It's more efficient, it's higher data rate, it's just much better across the board and it's, it's the future of optical communications.